So this is the base plate you can see I have designed in Fusion 360. Now you need to import it to .stl format or one of the other format which uh, which Copilia Sim accepts. So to import it, just uh, sorry, export it, export it to the .stl format. So .stl format. So at the moment it is it will export in .f 3D. If you go to drop down list. Here you go, you see dot stl format. So this is exported to dot stl format, but make sure that you got your internet connection on for this modification. I think because uh, the fusion conversion engine works a uh, bit of like remote processing. So part is complete here, as you can see dot stl format arduino buggy modification dot stl format is showing file for x shown explorer so here you can see the dot stl format arduino buggy is has been created now go to copy the sim back again then file uh, import import mesh and here you can see our file open it then again the scaling factor is asking for that whether i want to modify any of the scaling but i would recommend not to do anything then import so it has been imported but i don't see it to find it you just uh, zoom out You can see very very large part has been imported then you scale back I already shown you how to scale back but just for the sake of this part you just go to what we scaling in place scaling always in place scaling then point five so it has it has been resized down 2.5 scaling but you need to do further scaling to satisfy this to compare this um, with the existing model you need to move it closer to the existing model then you have a better view then fit to view skin so this is this is the scaling factor now at the moment again go to 0.5 factor scaling factor And more before it is fit all the way to the existing .stl file. Now ungroup these uh, TG motors and just move them to the bracket. So you select them and move them manually one by one. So as you can see, I got more higher volume uh, for keeping my um, parts there, more spaces there. Then again, another group of parts I have already imported. As you can see, they are the motor clump, but they are still oversized. So I have to edit them. So what I will do is first I will they are they are joined together because uh, that's how I 3D printed them. Um, again, I will get my physical. So this part of link you can see a 3D printed clump, a white clump here. This is the clump as you can see. So have to divide them first edit select the part then edit then grouping as you can see there's only divide option so they are divided now and what it means is that now i can individually move them different locations
and I will make it fit for this surface but before that I need to locate them in the right location just to get some idea about the scaling factor So the best way to make the job easier is that first use the mouse translation for like uh, the mouse translation is not very perfect I need to go to z-axis so you select the z-axis and go down then x-axis go in every time you need to follow the the global orientation where the location of the part is then just uh, move a bit any time at a time In granular detail you can go in the translation location translation I mean now I need to resize the part I will just delete this scaling in place scaling 0.9 uh, that looks more befitting So this this bracket need to go in this slot. This is Y ejection. How does it look from the top? need to move a bit in x direction plus x that looks more perfect now you need to slot at the motor hole so as you can see at the moment it's not perfectly slotted this i mean this is screw holes minus okay that looks much better Not perfect, but near perfect. Then I can just slot this screw to this hole. Now I will copy and paste three of more, three more for the three other motor.
so the part is already selected I have changed the name so motor clump I'll just copy object then control V then move to Y direction plus Y now the parts are perfectly created uh, the dimension is slightly there is slight discrepancies in dimension but there is no discrepancies um, in the actual 3d file um, which i will include in the comment description you can download this dot uh, stl and uh, fusion 360 3d files and you can build this part yourself what i will do is now i will move this screw across just to bolt them as the real screwed This is the beauty of Copilia Sim that you can do so many things which otherwise you would not be able to do in this more visually pleasing way. I will delete this part now, select all of them, no, one by one. Some of the part can So this video is getting quite long, so uh, I, I don't want to waste any more time, but here you can see the final assembly. I just did all the work in the background. So this is what I started with, then the modification happened in this part. This is the complete assembly, and these are the part, these are the modified part, which I designed as an adapter with existing Arduino buggy. Where you can see it can clamp the motor and it has got new adapter for omni wheel. So if I can explain that this omni wheel has got different diameter than the shaft of this TT motor. That's why I have designed them from the scratch. So in total uh, three part I have designed um, one of this motor clamp and then the motor shaft and the base plate for connecting with the Arduino buggy. Now, if I can show you the Fusion 360 part, so this is the base plate where this two plus is actually slotted to the Arduino buggy 
plus blank plus shaped blank now I will include the complete file and you will also see the operation of the real-life robot here you can see the operation of real-life robot hopefully you like this video let me know your experience with this video at the comment box and feel free to ask me the video file as well as the fusion 360 file i will see you at next time till then thank you very much